Well, good afternoon and thank you very much. Can I acknowledge to uh, the Prime Minister's presence. It's great to have you uh, with us, Prime Minister, uh, and the Minister, Nigel, Senator Nigel Scallion. Great to have you here, uh, Senator Scallion. Uh, can I also uh, pay due respect to the traditional owners of the land upon which we've assembled and to those elders both past and present? Uh, I'm speaking with you today because I've got responsibility as Parliamentary Secretary to the Treasurer for the Royal Australian Mint. And I'd like to take this chance to congratulate Ross and his team on their outstanding work in relation to this IATSIS uh, coins that have been produced this afternoon. It's a very special thing to have a coin produced and it's even more special to have two. And in that respect, the Royal Australian Mint has done an outstanding job in honouring the great work that IATSIS has undertaken over the past 50 years the important research and contribution IATSIS has made to the Australian community. And a coin represents one of the very best ways that we're able as a community and as a nation to both honour the work that they've done, but also to incorporate it uh, into our community. Uh, everybody would know that people collect coins, uh, the special significance that coins have. And in this respect, this is a particularly unique production because there are the two. There's the circulating coin that incorporates the Atsis logo in it. There'll be around two million of these produced and they'll be circulated to the banks and through the banks to the people of Australia. So I'd encourage uh, all Australians, uh, maybe not to retain the coins, but I understand <laughs> if some do, but I'd certainly encourage them when they get one to consider uh, what it represents and the great work that's been undertaken. But in addition to that, there is of course the special collector's coin uh, which is the same as the print coin that's being circulated, but this one incorporates a colour print on it as well. And the good news is that you'll be able to purchase one of these for $13.50 right here at the Parliament House Bookshop. Or of course you can, uh, I don't get a cut, it's all right. Or of course you can also uh, go to the Royal Australian Mint uh, and we would certainly encourage collectors uh, to get a copy of this 50th anniversary coin fire access. So thank you very, very much. It is a, a pleasure to be here uh, on behalf of the Mint and on behalf of the Treasurer uh, and I'd like to hand you back to your MC. Thank you.